Hi, I'm Lady Charmaine, and my guests today are the members of the Stellar Award family band, Forever Jones. And they're here today to talk about their brand new reality show, Keeping Up With The Joneses, airing on Bounce TV. I want you to help me welcome Miss Dominique and Kim Jones to the show, which is my favorite family band. How you doing, ladies? Hello. How are you? Good. It's always good to have your family back on the show. Of course, I consider y'all family, not just friends, because I love you guys so much. Yeah. But you already know this. So. Thank you. <laughs> you are so oh, welcome. Love you. And your family, you know it. Thank you. And mm -hmm. I, I want to say congratulations to the both of you and the entire family. You have a brand new reality show. So first, I got to ask you, Mama Kim, why did you guys even decide to do a reality show? Well, Lady Charmaine, thank you again for uh, the invitation to your show. Years ago, when our first manager, you know, first started working with us, he would always tell us, you guys got to have a reality show. And he would call us America's sweetheart family, and you got to have it. you got to do it. So we, he actually introduced us to uh, Jimmy Floyd and Catherine Bernaz, and they put together uh, a sizzle reel. And that didn't really go anywhere until the very end of that contract. And then um, two other networks uh, started uh, asking us if we would be interested. And um, Bounce brought, uh, which is a brand new network, it was founded by Andrew Young and Martin Luther King III, incredible. They brought Walmart to the table, and we did this uh, Christmas special. It went really well, and so the rest, the rest is history. Here we are. Wow, so how does it feel? I'm going to talk to you, Dominique, because you're young, too, because you're younger <laughs> than me. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to just say young because you are a beautiful young lady. How does it feel knowing now that your life is going to be displayed for all the world to see? Um, there's a little bit of pressure there, but I think the only pressure that I'm going to succumb to is uh, continuing to be myself and continuing to better myself and, you know, just, Trying to put uh, or trying to, I guess, portray Jesus the best way that I can for the world to understand it, you know. And what was it like for you, Mama Kim and Dominique? You both can answer this question, but I'll start with you, Mama Kim, first. What was it like for you now to have cameras following you every day? And just, and is there a time yeah. that you ever forget that the cameras are on? Well, Janelle is on the line. She just got in on the line, and um, I've got some really crazy answers, but I like the answers that they have in terms of uh, preparing and thinking they're there. Dominique, why don't you start with that? Well, I, the reason why she's telling me to start with this lady, Charmaine, is because I suffered. I bet you could probably call it paranoia. I had a problem shutting my mind off and realizing that the cameras weren't there while I was sleeping. So I did a lot of talking in my sleep after the show was over. Um, I would tell jokes in my sleep and wake myself up laughing because I thought the cameras were there, and it was just really funny. So, I mean, they, it was it was hard getting used to the mics, but as soon as you got used to them, you forgot they were there, and you're like, oh, my God, I just said that, and they, somebody's in the other work, the room listening. And, so, and there was also, you know, a little bit of pressure just to protect the relationships that we had formed with other people in our family in Shreveport. But other than that, Bounce, they were great. New Wave wow. Entertainment, they were wonderful. And Janelle, with you being a mommy, mommy of two, your wife, how was it for mm -hmm. you filming a reality show, traveling, and trying to be a mommy and a wife? Because, you know, your kids are very young right now. So congratulations on both the beautiful mm -hmm. kids. And last time I saw you uh, was a year and a half ago. I think you only had one. I didn't even realize another one came into the picture. Yes, ma'am. Another one did come into the picture. Her name is Mackenzie. So I have Madison, who's five, and Mackenzie, who is a year, and both of them keep me so very busy. Okay. But I have a lot of fun with them, and I think um, I had a lot of fun filming. Um, a lot of the time they were used to be there for the filming, and so I, I just had fun, like, just working with my girls. So sometimes when I'm on stage, obviously I can't bring them to that part of my job with me. And so it was just fun being able to have them everywhere with me. Um, during the filming process. It was a challenge, um, I have to say, but um, I had so much help and support from my mother and my in-laws and uh, my, my siblings and everyone around me just kind of rallied together and helped out. So it was great. Oh, that's good. And Mama Kim, what can we expect to see on the reality show this season? Well, you'll get a chance to see into our lives because everybody, um, different personalities, different character, 
And, um, you know, like Walmart who sponsors it, they're very family-oriented, which is one of the coolest things about mm-hmm. that. You'll see us, you know, having family time eating. You'll see a lot of the uh, industry conversations and choices and decisions that we have to make. And uh, you'll also see just how we interact. And it's, I, I like the fact that uh, Walmart was not afraid of our faith. And it's, you know, um, it's... It, you know, Walmart and, and Bounce, they're, they're absolutely wonderful with that because they're, you'll see that if you, and I know you have followed the fact that we have our 9 a.m. prayer. Mm-hmm. They've also allowed us to introduce that as well. So there's a lot of wonderful things that you can expect at the, at the um, Forever Jones reality show. Okay, and my next question is for you, Dominique. How does your reality show differ from all the other ones that are currently out there now, even um, the the Christian-based families, which we have Mary Mary and also the Sheards as well? Yeah, you know, I think that this uh, show is probably more family-oriented just because, you know, you, you do we do have a lot on the show about the industry, but it's dealing with our family as a unit. And, um, and we're, we really focus on you know, really showing America that God in your house can make your, it can make family work for you. And we also focus on conflict resolution. So we're not just kind of gearing towards um, one specific target market or age group, but we're really gearing uh, the show towards family, period. Something that everyone can sit down and watch where kids don't have to leave the room uh, during the show. You know, just <laughs> something everyone can sit down and watch and enjoy. So that's good. That's how you get more people watching the show, too. And for you, Janelle, as we discussed earlier, you mm-hmm. are a wife, you are a mother, and your husband is also the musical director uh, for the group. Now, how does your husband mm-hmm. like spending so much time with your family? Now, I'm sure he loves your family because you guys are always together. <laughs> is he ever like, I just want to go home and spend time with my own family? Is that all right with you, Janelle? So w- w- how has this whole I'm- experience been for him? I mean, of course, um, I think even, like, with your immediate family at times when you're just in each other's faces all the time, you have a, a, a point where you just kind of want to be by, a, you know, by yourself. Mm-hmm. And then the fact that, you know, my family is not his immediate family. My husband is extremely quiet. And if you've been around my family, which you have, you know, we're, not, we're the opposite. We're loud <laughs> all the time. And so, yeah, I mean, he's been really incredible as far as that's concerned and, being, you know, understanding, knowing that this is a part of, um, you know, this, this job, our job, and, you know, of, of this part of our life. And, and yeah, he, he has expressed, well, can we just be just the four of us? And, and I'm okay with that. And I understand, you know, that sometimes he, you know, he does need just to kind of pull away and have time just even to himself. So I try to be sensitive to that as well. One thing that's great about your your reality show, which I think is great, you know, of, of course, we know you're a Christian family. You love the Lord. You're also going to be introducing your morning prayer. And then also, too, you know, your relationship is interracial and it's going to bring that to the forefront with the love of Christ. And that's the one thing I absolutely love about it, because I know a lot of times when we see reality shows, we always see, you know, um, African-American couples we will see Caucasian couples. But then you're bringing something that's different to the table and you bring in Christ as well. And that's what I think that's beautiful about your reality show. Thank you so much, Lady Sherman. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. And Dom- Dominique, you wrote the song, He Wants It All. Now, did you think that that song was going to resonate with so many people when you were writing it? Absolutely not. You know, <laughs> I, I, I kind of saw it as one of my intimate songs, you know, between just me and God. I really didn't think it was going to touch a lot of people. And it was one of my weaker songs, in my opinion. But um, I think that's the way God likes to do things. He likes to throw curveballs. That way no one can take credit for it. No one can say, I knew it, I knew it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for it. And, and now, Mama Jones, you got one child graduating, going off to college. And we're going to be able to see that on the reality show. How are you doing with that whole situation? Got another baby mm-hmm. leaving the nest. Actually, I'm doing like every other mama who has a child that leaves the nest and goes so far and had no idea that it was going to feel the way it felt. And uh, I cried for a solid week. And I w- I really did lean a lot on my relationships with uh, friends and my pastors. And, you know, they had six children. And so they were able, literally, while we were going to the cellars, 
and and then driving to the airport, I called them, and they walked me through it. My pastors did, and they said, you're going to be okay. We went through the same thing. And call us if you need us. All my all my girlfriends, I call. I said, "Why didn't you tell me?" To? You know, so I'm a lot better. <laughs> Wow, so we get to we get to see all of that. And I want to talk yes. to you again, Dominique. Now, are, are there any new projects you're working on? Or are you considering uh, possibly going solo, doing a solo project, and then coming back to the family band? I want to know. Um, you know, I, that's definitely a dream of mine. And I'm not able, you know, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil anything for the show. But I will tell you that, you know, it's something that, you know, since I was a young girl that I wanted to do. And um, so, you know, we'll have to see. Why can't you just give me some juicy details? Just give me something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Something you know, I, gave you <laughs> I, gave you more. I gave you more than I gave anybody else. <laughs> Tell the truth. That's because you family. <laughs> <laughs> well, praise the Lord. <laughs> At least I got something. <laughs> Well, you, mm-hmm. well, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. And please tell Dad DeWitt I said hello. You know, it's always a pleasure having you. And I want to remind everyone to make sure you tune in to Bounce TV to check out Forever Jones. It's called Keeping Up with the Joneses, Forever Jones Wednesdays, 9 Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you have direct TV, we get to watch it three hours earlier. And thank you to my guests, Mama Kim, Miss Dominique, and Janelle, ladies. Love you. Thank <laughs> and, you. Thank you. Thank you.